Hi friends, welcome to new project series on another use case scenario. So in this project series, I'm gonna show you how Microsoft has designed Wild World Importers data warehouse and reports on top of this. So before that, it's very important when we don't have experience and when we have a um, little bit of experience and we just starting to design a BI data warehouse project, it's very important to analyze the world existing BI project source codes so that you will know how the actual specialists designing their best BI solutions. And also you can reuse their flow in your projects as well. So it saves so much time and gives you lots of experience that they have earned and you can easily uh, adopt as yours. So wide world importers is a sample database project that Microsoft released in 2016. You can find source code projects in GitHub page. So in this series, I'm gonna show you how they have designed this database and data warehouse using database project and ETL to populate data into data warehouse and the report on top of the data warehouse. So I'm also going to cover how we receive the requirement and how we uh, come up with a data warehouse design and how we populate data and the ETL design approach and the report. So by end of this session, you will learn the simple way of analyzing the existing BI project source codes and the best practices to follow and also the steps involved in a complete end-to-end -end BI project which includes designing database, data mart or data warehouse project using SQL Server Data Tools database project and designing ETL package for data populate into data warehouse using SSIS and building reports on top of data warehouse dimensions and fact using Power BI or SQL Server reporting services. Let's see this in action from next part. Please comment if you have any questions and please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you and happy learning.